Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of her was born Jesus, who was called the Messiah. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about, when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention, when behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Joseph, the man of the hour. In today's gospel, it talks about Joseph and how Joseph obeyed God. Mary was engaged to Joseph when she conceived the Son of God in her womb, when she conceived Jesus. And Joseph was about to break the engagement silently because he did not want Mary to be um, condemned in public. And that night when he slept, an angel appeared to Joseph. And the angel told Joseph, take Mary as your wife. She is conceiving by the Holy Spirit and she is going to carry in her womb the son of God. The gospel tells us that as soon as Joseph woke up, he did what the angel asked him to do. Joseph did not plan for that, but he obeyed. Joseph was not ready for that, but he trusted. Today, friends, I challenge you to trust God. I speak to those who are about to make a decision. And you know that you know that you know that this is what God wants you to do. But it's not that clear yet. I challenge you to do it. Obey God. Even if there's not much clarity. Even if it's not laid out before you. Even even if every detail is not revealed to you yet. I think that God will not reveal his plans to us in one big, one big blow because otherwise we will not be able to take it. But God wants us to trust him step by step by step. And it is when we trust him every day after day after day after day after that is the time when we grow. That is the time when we grow and mature like Joseph Little did he know that he was going to be the foster father of the Savior of the world. Little did he know that the baby that he would carry in his arms would be the Savior of the world. Friends, let's be like Joseph. Let's be obedient to God without clarity. Let's be obedient to God and trust God the way Joseph did. I challenge you, brothers, sisters, let's be like Joseph today and let us see the work of God in our lives. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Father, we come before you today with a prayer that you make us like Joseph, that you give us the faith of Joseph, the obedience that Joseph displayed. Father, teach us to obey even if things aren't clear yet. Teach us to follow you even if there's no detailed step-by-step manual that comes with it. Father, may we be like Joseph, trusting you and believing you that everything is in your hands and that the miracle is coming and that your will and your plan will happen in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.